many have reported having an encounter with a frightening dark shadow man that wears a hat. The hat man always seems to invoke intense fear when seen by witnesses. The following hat man story involves a woman named Rachel. When I was around 12, my parents moved my bedroom to the basement. Immediately, I began to have nightmares, and they were about the other bedroom in the basement. There were these monstrous creatures in there so horrifying and impossible for my young imagination to have come up with. Things I'd never seen before. When I had a nightmare, I would run past that room up the stairs into the couch. I felt like something was chasing me every time, and it only got worse until, as a young adult, I refused to sleep in that room downstairs. I slept on the couch upstairs every night. I always thought there were spirits and things even more evil than that. Fast forward to a year and a half ago, my daughter went over to my mum's house to clean one day. She was alone in the house and she told me that she saw something in the kitchen. Knowing that she knew how I felt about the house, I just dismissed it to her imagination and fears. I didn't even ask her to describe what she saw. A few months later, we lost our house and had to move into my mum's house for four months, and it was then that I saw him. I was walking out to the deck in the backyard. You have to open a door that leads to basement stairs, then another door that leads to the garage and to the deck. I opened the first door and initially saw him out of the corner of my eye. So I turned to look at him straight on, and he did not disappear. The shadow man just continued to walk slowly up the stairs, with his head down like he was watching where he was stepping. I believe he was hiding his eyes. I couldn't believe what I saw and out of fear I opened up the next door and stepped out into the garage. I shut the door and looked in the window on the top of the door. I watched his dark form walk past the window, his shadow blocking out my reflection. I had a bright shirt on making it very easy to see my reflection, but I couldn't see any of my reflection when he walked past the door and into the wall of the backyard where I was heading. I saw him in detail from torso up. I don't remember seeing his legs for some reason. He wore a brimmed hat, a long trench coat and he hid his face. When I got back to the deck, I sat down and looked over the screen door. There etched out of the screen was a perfect outline of his hat. I then remembered my daughter telling me that she'd seen something too. So when she got home from school, I asked her about what it was she saw, and she described the exact same thing. I then knew it was time to find out what this thing was, so I googled it. When the images loaded, my head stood up. So that was Rachel's story. There have been many theories about the hat man and especially whether or not he is a ghost at all. Could he be a time traveller or an alien? Or is the hat man some other form of non-human entity? It should be noted that those theories are just speculation. What is fact is that people are having experiences with a dark shadow man that wears a hat. Let me know what you think these apparitions are. Here's some encounters with alleged shadow people. One witness said the following. I was a kid maybe 10 years old. I had just gone to bed and was wide awake with the window open in my room. I looked out the window and there was a shadow that looked like the outline of a man. What's creepy was that he kept looking at me. My room was on the second story of our house and we had peaked roofs. So I'm 99% sure it wasn't just a person looking in. It was a shadow. I screamed and ran to my parents' room and told them I saw a shadow in the window. They didn't believe me and told me to go back to sleep. After that encounter, I used to see the shadow man on a regular basis. Another witness named Jade had this to say. I've seen shadow people my entire life, as far back as I can remember. The first memory of a house was when I was nine years old. In this house, I used to see a hat man standing near my closet. I wasn't asleep in the slightest. I just climbed into bed and was sitting up. The last one I saw was about two years ago after I was sitting outside smoking on my porch. I lived on a very quiet suburban street. I saw someone walk down the cross street to my left and disappear under the street lamp. It was weird because I could clearly see it had the silhouette of a human, but it wasn't human because it was so dark. Then it walked near the street lamp and it was just gone. Ever since these experiences I've always struggled to sleep. I feel like they're watching me. 
Those who are experiencing and studying the shadow people phenomenon say these entities almost always used to be seen out of the corner of the eye, but more and more people are beginning to see them straight on over longer periods of time. Some experiences testify that they have seen eyes, usually red on these shadow people. There is no way to prove or disprove any theories about a phenomenon that is so mysterious, and that happens so quickly and without any warning. Science finds it virtually impossible to catalogue or study such a phenomena. All we can do at the present is to document personal experiences, and try to piece together what the shadow people phenomenon might be. Perhaps it's an old mystery becoming more recognisable, or perhaps it represents a doorway to and from different planes of existence. In this clip we see alleged shadow people,
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.